Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Today we're going to look at the mystery box uh, that was a compilation between J.J. Abrams, uh, Bad Robot, and Theory 11. Uh, the art direction on this deck was overseen by J.J. Abrams and Jonathan Bame. And if you don't know who J.J. Abrams is, he's the mastermind behind Lost and a lot of other um, just incredible uh, films and TV. Recently, J.J. Uh, Abrams did a TED Talk in which he explained the inspiration behind uh, the mystery box. Uh, what he said was, when he was young, uh, his grandfather, whom he loved dearly, a, a man named Harry Kelvin, uh, took him to Lou Tannen's Magic, which is uh, in Midtown Manhattan. Uh, Lou Tannen is still around. Uh, they're a huge uh, magic store. They're infinitely famous. And uh, when he was there, his grandfather bought him a, a mystery box, basically. It was a cardboard box. And it was said that there was, you know, $50 worth of magic inside that box, but you could buy it for $15. So the, the box itself represented something that was uh, just like infinite possibility. And so because of that uh, mystery and that wonder, J.J. Abrams never opened the box. He was just always curious as to what was inside. And it was actually more fun to him not knowing, you know, that what, whatever, whatever was in that box was almost too wonderful. And so leaving it in the box just creates this tension um, that I think he uses for inspiration. Uh, he, J.J. Abrams went on to talk about a lot of the things that are mystery boxes, like a blank page. A blank page is a mystery box. You can fill it with anything. Uh, a story is a mystery box. We approach it and uh, we, we uh, bring to it maybe some of our own reservations and our own thoughts, but then also uh, it, it contains this continual mystery that we continue to unlock. He's like a movie theater is a mystery box. You know, you sit in the movie theater and you're anticipating uh, the story to come and it's just, you're, at that moment, uh, the box is still not open and you're just so full of wonder. And J.J. Abrams was talking about how the mystery box is just this plot. It's the plot in life that keeps driving you forward uh, to, to rediscover new things and to, to kind of push the envelope as it were. And, and so the whole idea behind this uh, mystery box is is wondering is is wondering what's inside this you know what is inside because it's the thing that's inside that matters and so it's that curiosity that that um, pushes us into to new areas um, when you first buy the mystery box from 311 it is it does come in this um, brown uh, paper uh, wrapper and it has the black pressed almost burned image of a question mark there and so um, I open mine. So uh, let's get into the cards. When you first open it, the tuck case uh, is, has a flat black finish. It has the Bad Robot uh, logo on the front, which is J.J. Abrams' uh, film company. Uh, on the side, it does say J.J. Abrams and Theory 11. And on the other side, it says that it's a product of Bad Robot. So you're, you're getting those two companies together. Uh, on the bottom, you have Theory 11's ad copy. And then on the back, you have a red foil... Um, design of what the back of the cards looks like. But it's almost a mirror image, if you will. Another really cool thing about the tuck case is the, it has a um, kind of a brown paper bag uh, seal. And then also on the inside of the tuck, I don't know how well you're going to see this, there's a red stripe foil uh, on the inside of the tuck as well as on the flap. So that's pretty cool. So uh, let's take a look at the cards. The back design of the mystery box cards is almost that same red rider back color that we're all familiar with with bicycle cards. Um, if you look at the back design, uh, you'll see that it's pretty simple. It uh, leaves a lot of negative space, um, so that red really pops out. And uh, it almost kind of just looks like, um, like a drafting experiment. You know, it's, it's very clean, it's very simple, it's not very detailed. There's kind of a, a mystery box within the mystery box there in the center. Um, it's a 3D image of a box, but it's being angled in several different places. And then also the top, you have the question mark, and you have the words mystery box there, and then you have uh, wheels in the four corners. And um, it's not a very striking back design, and I wouldn't even say it's elegant, but it is simple. And I think um, there is a lot of simplicity to this deck, but then also a lot of complexity. It's kind of what makes the mystery box a mystery. Ooh. There are a couple of uh, interesting extra cards that you get with this deck. And so uh, let's look at those. The first thing I would say is there are no gaffs. There are no gaff cards uh, with this, and there are no ad cards with this. Um, the two extra cards that you would normally get in a, in a run are actually uh, these little 
cutouts. And what these are is these are little anamorphics. Now, if you don't know what an anamorphic is, um, you can actually go to 311's website, slash anamorphic, and you can figure out um, kind of what these are used for. Um, I'll give you a, a little clue, is that you're supposed to take these and take scissors to them and cut them up. <laughs> uh, what you do is you cut them up and you use them uh, to make uh, kind of optical illusion photographs. So it's just a little kind of magic within the magic that comes inside your deck. Uh, you get one anamorphic of a, a mystery box, basically, and your second anamorphic is of the bad robot robot. The other thing uh, you get, of course, is you're going to get two full-size jokers. Um, they are uh, the same, they're just colored differently. Uh, this one's a gray kind of colored one, and this is a red colored one. And again, it's a robot, kind of looks like cassette tape, uh, and it says The Joker on it, and uh, made in the USA. And then your Ace of Spades is kind of uh, reminiscent of the back design there. It does say Mystery Box at the bottom, and it has some of the same kind of, like I said, same kind of pattern that you see in the back of the cards. One of the things about the Mystery Box deck is it's very similar to other Theory 11 decks in that um, what you're getting is a creative Ace of Spades, a creative back design, a cool tuck case, and original Jokers. And your spot cards, your um, numeric cards, they're going to be all the same. They're going to be standard, just like any other deck of cards. I was surprised, however, with the court cards. I wasn't really expecting the court cards to be um, original and redrawn. And actually, after I saw them, I was kind of a little taken back. They, uh, the, the art design behind the courts took me out of the story for a little bit because I really didn't get it. They kind of looked like, um, here, I'll show you. They kind of looked like the RoboCycle court cards, if you remember uh, those. But then, you know, after looking at them and through talking it out, you know, you realize that they're robots. These are robot court cards because, you know, it's a, it, is a, it is made from Bad Robot, which is J.J. Abrams' company. However, I think the disconnect for me is that this deck can't seem to make up its mind, whether it's the Bad Robot deck or if it's the Mystery Box deck. Um, I kind of feel like it's both, you know, and, and that was something that kind of left me uh, confused, I guess. You know, when, if, I, if I bring back the tuck case for just a second, the front does say bad robot. It doesn't say mystery box. You know, it doesn't have a question mark on the front of this tuck case. So once you remove the outer shell, the mystery box kind of goes away. It, 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 does, uh, it, it does say J.J. Abrams on the side, Theory 11, and a product of Bad Robot, but the only place you see the words mystery box are really small right there on the, on the back, and then again on the Ace of Spades. But all the imagery and the iconography, and, and even kind of some of this, is very robotic, very synthetic feeling. So that was just kind of the, the, the letdown for me with this deck. I love J.J. Abrams, I love Bad Robot, I, I love 311, and I, I kind of wanted more from this, and maybe that's the... Maybe that's the lesson behind the mystery box, you know? As long as it's wrapped up and as long as it's unseen, uh, the excitement and the anticipation is still there and you don't know what to expect. And it's just once you open it that you have that, you know, diminishing return that you feel like, oh, that's all that was, that's all there was, like that's all there is to it, you know? I, I don't know, maybe that's, uh, maybe that's the takeaway I'm getting. Maybe that's the lesson I'm learning. You'll have to see for yourself. Hey everybody, just gonna steal the camera just for a quick second so you can take a look at these cards, I wanted to just go over them really quick with the uh, uh, close-up HD camera just so you can see these and of course you can always use your computer controls to pause whenever you'd like if you'd like to look at something just a little bit longer. Like many other Theory 11 decks, this deck is printed with FSC certified paper which is derived from sustainable forests, uh, vegetable based inks, and starch based laminates. It is also noted that uh, if you purchase this deck, one dollar from every deck that's purchased will actually go to 826 National. Uh, what that is is it's a nonprofit which is dedicated to uh, promoting creative writing in schools around the United States. 
Um, as always, you can purchase this deck from Theory11, and uh, that's the end of this review. Uh, you can always subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. We recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it a little bit quicker. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter, just twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy. You can also like this page on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.